Hello viewers, in this video I am going to show you how you can read the SMS messages uh, that were received in this in this kind of Wi-Fi modem or hotspot whatever you say. I have uh, this type of USB dongle which is already connected with my laptop and uh, if you check uh, this is a Chinese uh, device and there is no option to read the sms from it uh, I, I don't know whether it will work for all the similar devices or not you can try it yourself so the thing is this device actually has adb on by default and this is this is actually a, an android device and which runs on android kitkat that means 4.4.4 and we will use that adb interface to uh, to mirror the screen i mean uh, there is a tool uh, i will provide this uh, link in the description there is a open source tool android screencast uh, you need you, you need to go here and then go to this uh, this release and download my as my laptop is windows so i'm going to download this one i already download this one and this one is a zip file and then i extracted it then i actually uh, uh what is called i just extracted it and you need to run this jar file that is java runtime so you also need to have java runtime uh, installed in your laptop i mean laptop or desktop whatever you uh, use so uh, just search in google java runtime and install the latest version so i already have that installed so what i do i'm just double clicking it while the while my modem is connected with this laptop and then you will get if if your modem is running you will get this chinese uh, i mean chinese interface this is a basically a launcher so by default if any sms is received you will get notification here and if you click then it will directly send you to the, that inbox but i will let first change uh, i mean the launcher so i downloaded a android kitkat launcher that is available in the internet i'll uh, try to upload this as well so let's uh what is called first go to android this whatever i downloaded and here you can see there is a tool called adb.exe so i'm i'm going to open my command prompt here and you need to just provide adb push i mean sorry install install and you need to provide the path i mean the launcher so let's first copy as path and provide the path so adb install and the your apk path i'm just hitting enter it will upload the uh, app in the in the device and if, if i am uh, trying to install it so let's let's finish it let me yeah this way you will have better understanding i guess so this is basically uh, you can see that launcher has been installed successfully so i'm going to maximize this and click the home so it's not working it's not working either so i'm going here uh, and click on settings <clears throat> then click on the home and uh, by default this nano web is default launcher i'm going to apex launcher i actually download the apex launcher so i'm going to select that and uh, let's try to go using this back button up to home and let's see 
again clicking the home button or menu button i think i need to uh, restart the oh, the app probably crashed i guess so let, let's re restart the device okay so i'm going to oh sorry 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 no need to restart so i'm selecting the apex launcher and always this one as a launcher uh, this is kind of trial and error process so actually the home button i clicked that actually worked so i'm going to skip this one uh, let's load the launcher and you will now uh, be familiar with this launcher interface so basically what i found that uh, now you can uh, i mean check the basic installed apps here so i also need the google messages app so i guess this one so i'm doing the same thing copy as path and then adb install and install it again i mean not again i i'm installing the sms app i mean the google messages app so let's finish it first and let's check whether it works or not mm. let me pause the video because it's getting longer so as you can see that didn't took very long but uh, yeah it's it's successful and uh, then if you open the launcher you will see this message messages so i'm gonna click on this messages or message and and uh, it will load the sms application i mean google message uh, i don't know with uh, yeah and the message it will show a warning message that there is no google play service in this device so i'm just going to click ok and you will see this interface so i'm gonna send an sms from another device to this device i'm to this number i'm to this modem so i'm gonna pa pause the video so let's see i sent a message and uh, you can see that this message actually came here so i'm i can uh, open it just like a normal phone so yeah that's it from this video i i hope uh, you can now will be able to ch check the sms and uh, yeah and there is also a call option so i i, I think ussd code uh, dialing also will work but you can try it yourself. So yeah, thank you so much. Uh, hello there. Uh, actually, the thing is, uh, just I made, I mean, finished the SMS part. Later, I found that uh, there is no calling app in, in my modern firmware. I mean, uh, this inbuilt Android app. So what I did, I just searched for a dialer which is compatible with the KitKat. And uh, I found this website and this KitKat dialer. So I did the same thing. I actually downloaded this KitKat dialer and KitKat dialer APK and uh, copied the path just like the before. Just like before, and uh, you can see that I uh, use the same command to install it in this KitKat dialer app, and it's been installed successfully. And uh, in my launcher, I get this color dialer and uh, i can open it and uh, i can actually run ussd port as well i tested it and it was successful so i'm gonna show it to you that it it, it works actually and uh, so it's a complete device right now because uh, only for this facility i i was not able i was i had to uh put this sim in, in, in another phone, but now I will not need 
to do anything. For example, I checked my balance and you can see the result on my screen. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much.